Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel where we explore the captivating world of K-pop. Today, we have an enthralling tale of fame, success and a brewing storm of controversies surrounding the remarkable girl group, 5050. Buckle up, because this is going to be a wild ride. 5050, consisting of four talented members, made their debut on November 18th last year, and from the moment they stepped into the spotlight, they captured hearts worldwide with their electrifying hit song, Cupid. In just a matter of months, this powerful anthem had the entire world grooving to its infectious beat. But that's just the beginning of their remarkable journey. Imagine the scene, the first week of April, four months after their debut and 50-50 conquers the seemingly insurmountable U.S. Billboard's Hot 100 chart. Talk about breaking records. They achieved what no other K-pop group had done before, setting a blazing trail for others to follow. The accolades didn't stop there. These talented ladies secured a spot in the top 10 of the UK's official chart, topped the Billboard Global chart, excluding the US, and even caught the discerning eye of Forbes, making fans eagerly anticipate possible Grammy nominations. Now, here's where things get tricky. Despite all their achievements, the agency behind 5050, Affiliate Attract, faced allegations of neglect and mismanagement. The members decided to take matters into their own hands and filed an application for a provisional injunction against the agency, claiming inadequate support and a lack of provided settlement data. As the dispute escalated, the music industry found itself split. On one side, the agency garnered public sympathy, with various organizations like the Korea Entertainment Producers Association and the Korea Entertainment Management Association supporting them with official statements. They label the members as ingrate and backstabbers, causing an even deeper divide. This dispute escalated into a full-blown legal battle, with accusations flying in all directions. The Korea Music Copyright Association even decided to withhold payment of copyright fees for 5050's hit Cupid, leading to the suspension of their activities. It was a tumultuous period for the group, with cancelled music video filming, Hollywood movie soundtrack inclusion, LA premiere event cancellation and numerous shelved performances. All eyes are now on the future of 5050. Will they overcome this challenging phase and continue their trailblazing journey, or will their shining star fade away? The K-pop industry reached a turning point when BTS, the group that spearheaded the globalization of K-pop, suspended their group activities. The question now remains, can other groups, like 5050, fill the void left by BTS's hiatus? In the midst of this turmoil, some critics have raised concerns about the group's future. Harsh criticisms from cultural critics, music producers, and industry insiders have labeled 5050 as potentially becoming a one-hit wonder. These critics express worry about the group's ability to recover from this crisis and maintain their success. Yet, there is still hope. According to expert Im Jin Mo, the commercial potential of 5050 is not to be underestimated. He believes that reconciliation and mediation between the group and their agency are vital for their survival. After all, their hit song Cupid still maintains a strong presence on the global charts. As the clock ticks away, the fate of 5050 hangs in the balance. Will they rise from the ashes of this controversy, or is their golden hour coming to a close? The K-pop world anxiously awaits the resolution of this gripping tale. Stay tuned, fellow K-pop enthusiasts as we keep you up to date with all the latest developments surrounding 5050. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Until next time, this is our channel, signing off. See you in the next video.